Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm turning microphones on and off over here so I um, can bring you the best sound possible. This is a follow-up lesson on the miking Pandero video that I did earlier, and I'm gonna show you what I'm using right now. One of our patrons uh, suggested that I use this. Uh, this is a Audio-Technica Pro 35, and I actually had this from like 25 years ago, um, and I dug it up, and I realized like you, this is the kind of mic you want for this type of drum. Now this type of mic is something that you would get. It's a condenser microphone, so it needs phantom power. Um, however, it is made for tom-toms, snare drums, saxophones. You know, you, these are the mics that a lot of uh, horn players will use. They'll clip it on their instrument. So it could take a lot of uh, sound pressure and it won't get distorted. So that's what uh, we're doing. I'm just gonna show you a couple things that I've learned since I started using this. One of the challenges with this, go back to the overhead view, one of the challenges with this mic is that it has this clip here, which is fine, but I noticed that depending on where you place it, it can just fall off. So I just put it here close to my hand because I feel like here is is an area where I'm not I'm not striking the drum, right? So if I'm if I'm over here. If I'm over here, I'm hitting the drum a lot, right? So I put it on the opposite end, and it's also not going up and down a whole lot. It's kind of on that pivot point. Uh, so I feel like this area is a point of less movement. Now, something I also did, just as a temporary fix, um, if you really don't want it to fall off, you can put it like this and then grab onto it, which I did earlier. It changes the grip a little, but I feel like if you do that, I don't think that's going anywhere now. Um, and then you can still mute uh, the mic. Or mute the head, sorry. With the um, finger there, your longest finger. So that's something um, that you could try uh, I do want to come up with a solution where I don't have to hold the clip-on mic onto the drum uh, and I know it's not going to come off. So I don't want to drill into the shell or anything. Uh, uh, rubber bands were mentioned uh, by one person. Um, and also, oh, just so you know, I'm missing the foam on this. So this is an old, like I said, this mic's, I've had it for a long time. So it's missing the foam. There's supposed to be some foam here and I just have it literally um, zip-tied onto the frame here, right there. So this is not the way the mic normally looks. Uh, you can go online and look at it, but I do need to get a replacement foam for the, for the mic. But uh, let me play it for you again real quick uh, so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm just going to um, play a few different things, and I'm not going to hold it. We'll see if it falls off. Hopefully it won't. Uh, here we go. Get the mic on. So this Pandero is an amazing instrument uh, by Rafael Toledo, and I'm going to have more of these available, uh, which I will make for sale um, first to patrons of the channel. So if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these, these are Brazilian made, handmade, come, they come with bags. I guess this is turning into a little bit of an infomercial. Um, these come with amazing handmade bags. Just a wonderful instrument um, in that Choro style, you know, the lightweight, super lightweight Pandero. So anyway, if you're interested in that, join at patreon.com slash Kalani. Um, you can also buy uh, Rafael's Panderos directly from him. From They ship from Brazil. Uh, but if you're in the U.S., uh, check with me. Um, other than that, I just wanted to say that there is a little bit of EQ on this mic, on the Pandero mic. I've got a little bit of the really high highs rolled off, like 17K and above. It's kind of rolled off because the jingles can be very bright. 
Um, I also have a little bump on the low end and then a and then a low end roll off as well, like around 100 hertz and down or 150. It starts to roll off because we're really we don't need anything that low. So just a tip when you guys mic instruments. Um, it's not so much about rolling the frequencies off is not as much about the instrument itself as it is about not recording other stuff that you don't want to have in your recording, like low rumbling sounds. Um, I'm near the street here. My studio is in the garage area, so it's closer to the street. If a truck drives by and it makes that low rumble, it's going to come straight through the walls. If I have a sensitive mic uh, and I'm recording that low rumble sound, I'm talking about you know 80 60, even 50 hertz, you know, just a really low rumble, uh, certain microphones will pick that up and that gets on your recording and it just ends up being mud and junk in your recording. Now, yes, you can EQ that later, but I think it's best to just not get it in the recording in the first place. So one of the reasons we, we EQ a mic going into the recording is so we don't get anything we don't want. Uh, now, you don't want to over EQ because it's hard to recreate. You can't get back frequencies once you cut them out very difficult, if not impossible. But you can clean it up. You can clean up uh, by rolling off the, the low frequencies and maybe rolling off a little bit in the high end, just if it sounds harsh. Uh, you don't want any too much going on in the high end. You know, just want enough, uh, but you don't need to overdo it there. All right, so that's my video on this. I will bring you updates. Of course, I'll be using this um, Pendero in musical videos as well, but I want to just say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the tips that I got from patrons of the channel. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Kalani and connect with me over there. Please leave your thumbs up. Well, don't leave your thumbs up all day, but just click the thumbs up right now. You could leave them up. Just walk around like that. like <laughs> Reinforce people. <laughs> uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.